What's up everybody, AE Designs here coming at you with a tutorial today on social media links. Little custom social media links that you can make for your YouTube channels, your Twitters, your Twitches, your websites, your Facebooks, your Instagrams, if I think they even allow that on Instagrams. Whatever you can possibly make a display image for and have social media links to you know represent, to bring people to go into your other places. We're going to show you how to make you know little ones that match today. That's a big thing is for example you know uh, these two uh, Facebook and Twitter and maybe even the YouTube button here uh, they were uh, in a pack that I had you can find packs all over the internet but sometimes like for example here twitch and Instagram was not in it so we're gonna show you today how to just make you know simple yet uh, useful links that match to really match the theme of your uh, website or your Twitter or Twitch or YouTube, whatever you're doing it for. Uh, feel free to leave a like and comment, suggestions in the videos on more tutorials or uh, you know throughout this video if you find shortcuts uh, in your way, uh, ways that you do it, uh, please feel free to do um, you know submit them down you know if I'm doing something that takes a little bit longer than usual and you have a more faster approach at it please feel free to now take into mind some of the things that I will be doing today they may not be uh, quote unquote by the book they may not be uh, the fastest way but they may not be the slowest way either sometimes I take a lot of shortcuts I show you guys a lot of shortcut keys and I think that's what's really important is uh, seeing other ways uh, to use the tools um, presented in programs like Photoshop, Illustrator, things like that. Today's tutorial is going to be in Photoshop. Uh, it's very simplistic tutorial. Not too hard at all. Nothing around it really. Uh, so basically I'm going to be starting off with a 1280 by 720 page just because it's standard you know video size and uh, it's just that 7 or 72 bit you know nothing special just a standard black background and the buttons that we're making are just going to be standard white uh, the styles of the buttons are made completely through you guys that's not what the tutorial is going to be about today today's tutorial is going to be about like if you create an object if you want to have a website for example where all your social media links are uh, diamond shaped rather than square shaped or rectangular or oval shaped how to make you know the links or the images and the social media links match up to each other so first and foremost what we're gonna need to do is we're going to need well actually to even get more deep into it I like to do this a lot simple things right here to show you guys a little bit more about Photoshop each and every time I'm gonna bring myself back to where it would be uh, you know let's see layer flattened image even okay so sometimes when you open up Photoshop this is what you may have you may have a lock layer with no you know roller no center and we're gonna need to know these things just to be a little bit more precise about what we're doing so what we're gonna do here is first and foremost we're gonna unlock our layer uh, if you just double click on the background layer um, just make it layer zero or like I want to keep it now thank you Photoshop we're gonna name it background Okay, so now that layer is, you know, edible. So what we're going to do here is we're going to bring up our ruler. Control R, Command R. And now we have that little box around our screen that shows these numbers and little lines. That is for us to stay a little bit more organized throughout our projects on Photoshop. You can do that as well on Illustrator. So what we're going to do is we're going to have our background layer selected. We're going to hit Control T, which basically selects, makes a selection of that layer, that object. And it has the center point right there. Now there are other ways to find the center point with guides uh, for your Photoshop projects, but this is the way I do it. Once again, if you have faster ways of doing these things, feel free to uh, listen down below. So I'm just going to go over to my guide or my rulers. I'm going to click and drag from the left and go to the top, click and drag from the top and go until the lines are red. I don't think we can zoom into that, I guess. No, we can't. So we got, you know, just make sure you see those little red, the little red cross and then go ahead and click that check up there. Now we have our center points. That easy, that fast. So at this point, you're going to want to kind of determine what you know shape you want your social media links to be for your project here are just a couple ways where you can kind of make whatever you want and decide you know what you want to use so first and foremost we have our background layer selected and I want to make a new layer how we do that is we go to the lower right hand corner here this is the new layer button you can either click that and make a new layer there it looks like a little uh, rect or square with a little corner flipped over in the lower left hand side of the corner of it uh, or you can hit control shift N. I'm a keyboard shortcut guy I like finding my keyboard shortcuts uh, so that I can you know 
pump out my stuff. Uh, um, so what I'm gonna name this layer is object because this is going to be the object of the social media link, not the actual image that goes onto the object in itself. So this is the object, this is the shape of the social media link. So for example here, obviously, Control H by the way, we'll remove the guides uh, and then Control H will bring them back up. Uh, obviously the object of these social media links are squares. These are square objects. Now the images on side are, you know, that's a Twitch logo, that's an Instagram logo. That image is, you know, the Twitter, it's a bird. But the object is the outside. We're going to show, obviously, if you, you know, these are very easy ways to make objects. So we have our object layer selected. Say you want to make a circle. You want a perfect circle, just, you know, go up there, select the, uh, I don't even know what these tools are called. The elliptical marquee tool, the rectangular marquee tool. Uh, the easiest way, if you don't know how, like say yours is set for a square, you just right click on it to find a circle. So uh, say you want just a perfect square. We got the square one selected, the rectangular marquee tool. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click, if you want a perfect square, you click, hold on shift and drag it out. That's a perfect square. Now if you want a rectangle, you can just you know click and drag it out. So say we wanted to use a square, for example, on today's tutorial, or if you wanted to do a, just a regular square for your project, whatever. So we would have our object layer selected. We would click, hold on shift, bring out you know a good size square, and then shift F5, or if you want to, uh, if you don't have it set for shift F5, edit, fill, and then foreground color. Foreground color is whatever you have set right here. And then control D and it'll bring out away that highlighted area. And then now you have a perfect square. So what you're gonna wanna do at this point is you're gonna want to, with that object layer still selected, control T, you can find your center point by matching up the center points. Now if you get close here and it's not red, don't just give in like, oh, it's close enough. You know, one thing that I always very much like to do is I like to keep everything fucking center, and that really helps with projects. So if it's very, very much you know close, while this is selected, you can use your arrow pads to move stuff around. So as you see there, I was down you know one line, uh, you know down one line from being even. So I just clicked up and then clicked over twice, and boom, now it's red right in the center. I'm gonna hit that check. Now my uh, you know, social media object is center, so I can you know bring in the image to edit it. Um, I want I just want to show you know other ways to do this. Uh, I'm gonna go back. So we got our object layer. Say you wanted to do a circle as well. Uh, you just once again click, hold on Shift, uh, bring it out to about a good size. Shift F5, Enter, Control D to bring away that selection, and then Control T. Once again with the center, once again, oh, I'm not close. Up one, and then I'm gonna go over to the right until it gets red, and we got red. So now we have a circle. Now, uh, you can do special things too. I wanna you know, really give you guys options with making these links. For example, if you wanted to make, um, you know, kind of like a, a tab almost uh, for a social media link rather than, you know, just circle or square or, you know, a diamond. You know, a diamond would obviously be real quick, just hitting there, shift F5. Oh, oh man, I deleted my layer object. Okay, so, you know, if we wanted to make a diamond, shift F5, enter, control D, control T, and you're gonna go to the corner here till you see this little rotation highlight. Uh, click your mouse and then hold on shift and it'll bring it at you know 15 degree angles and then once you get it to about 45 degrees then you got a diamond you can make your social media links like that now you could also just to show you guys because like I said I want you guys to have plenty of option you have this little guy right here polygonal lasso tool now it might not be selected on that it might be on lasso tool or magnetic lasso tool so what you're going to want to do is if it's selected on either of those you just right click and you hit polygonal lasso tool so say you want to have a tab once again it deleted my layer and my object layer damn it it's these things sometimes okay we got our object layer so now we have our polygonal lasso tool set up now you can use pen tool but i like polygonal lasso tool because if you hold on shift you can go at 45 degree angles uh, it's very easy for that so uh say you want to just make a custom tab for your social media link uh say you wanted to just do something where it's a square with a corner missing so what you're going to do here is you're just going to click somewhere on you know one of these lines 
um, you know, it will automatically match, come to the guide. So, and you're going to hold on shift, at, you know, after you click even. Uh, just don't click again right away. So you're going to hold on shift. Uh, we're just going to come over to the left. Uh, try to make it, you know, pretty square with this. So we're just going to come out a little bit. And then I'm going to, you know, while holding on shift, uh, you know, while you create these paths, so it holds down a 45 degree angle base. Uh, come down there and then come in, come in and connect. Where's the connect? There it is. Uh, so, yeah, and then once again, control shift or shift F5, enter or edit fill. And now we have ourselves a nice little tab there. And once again, like uh, we did before, if you hit control T, you can bring the center. Oh, I'm not lined up right. We'll bring it over a couple. Boom, we got it lined up. Oh, there we got it lined up. Check. And then we'd go about making our, uh, you know, you know, whatever we're making, whatever shape we're making. Uh, and you can do, you know, multiple things with this, guys. Um, for example, if you wanted, if you're making more or less toolbars for a website, you have your object right here. Let's actually bring that back to where it was. You have, you just made your object, but you want it more of a tab. You want it symmetrical. I wouldn't recommend, you know, going here, 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 and then coming all the way over, you know, because then things will get off too. So you actually, you should make one side of the tab if you want a nice even tab. Uh, we have our object layer here, and what we're going to do is Control J, Control T. And we're going to right click, flip horizontally, and then we're just going to click and shift. Hold on shift uh, when you click and drag uh, to keep it in line because you could click and drag and it could, you know, come out. Sometimes, you know, with a guide here, it's not that bad if you can go nice and steady. And just come over till you know, it's selected red and just hit the check mark and control H to take away the guide if you want to. Boom, you have a tab. You have a tab now for your website. Uh, today, I don't really want to get too in depth on making it for tabs. Control H to bring back up your guide and everything. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to just do, uh, we'll, we'll do the diamond. We'll do the diamond social media link. So now the reason for, you know, a tutorial like this for social media links is, you know, like I said, yeah, you could say, but Big E, I can just go to YouTube and I can, you know, type in, uh, social media link pack and they'll come up. Yes, it, that works. You know, uh, the most of the time that works great, but you will have plenty of packs where they do not have every social media link that exists to mankind. And by when I say social media link, you know, I'm talking even, you know, sponsors. Sometimes you want to put your sponsors, uh, if you're in a band or you're a gamer, if you're, you know, sports man, you know, whatever, uh, an athlete, um, sometimes they don't have all the things. There are so many businesses and companies starting up every day with new custom logos and not all the time will you have all the logos in those packs. So that's why I'm showing you this tutorial today so you guys can match everything. So we are going to do a nice little diamond. We have our object layer selected with you know nothing on here, no image yet. And what we're going to do is we're going to make sure our rectangular marquee tool is set. Click and drag and hold on shift while you do so to bring up a, you know, a nice size square. Shift F5, enter, control D, control T, uh, get to that corner, hold on shift and bring it to a 45 degree and then just hit the check. And right there we have a, uh, you know, diamond. Actually, you don't have to hit on the check. We have to hit Control T again and find our center. Oh, what's that? It's not lined up. We'll go up one and we'll go over a few. And it's all squared off, ready to go. So there's our diamond social media link. Now at this point, uh, you know, you can either just kind of start winging it on each one. Sometimes, a lot, a lot of times actually, I like to uh, you know make a couple layers first. Like if I'm going to have five social media links. Uh, for whatever I'm working on, I just, you know, control J, control J, control J, control J. And that created five objects. Now I have five object layers for five social media links. That way I don't make one. I have, you know, the, the image cut out in the center. And then I'm like, oh, fuck, you know, uh, I don't have an extra, you know, object. Um, so we have, you know, the first object layer. Where We're actually not going to do that in many links. We'll just do uh, two for the hearsake. We'll just do object two oh that's three and then object one like i said this is just so that when i like say i'm doing a twitter link first and i cut out the twitter image right here in the center uh i'm not like oh shit well i still gotta make a facebook and don't have an extra layer 
Now we got an extra layer. Now we're ready to go. I think today uh, we'll just show a Twitter link and then a Behance link because there aren't a lot of social media packs that have the damn Behance link uh, or the Behance image. And that pisses me off because that's a big thing for graphic designers. There are a lot of graphic designers on YouTube. So at this point, you have the structure the, of your object set up for your social media links. Now you need your social media images. And here's a thing that I will tell you that I don't tell you often to do because it's honestly not a big deal to do things like this. Um, you want to go to things like you know Google, stock images sites, Bing, Yahoo, whatever you can, and just type in things you know like Twitter. Uh, or Instagram or you know Behance logo or like scuff logo or like you know I think it's pretty ESPN logo YouTube logo and you find a logo that is pretty you know solid base that you want to you know make their social media link out of to you know like for example uh, here is a Twitter PNG logo found on Google Images. Now, like I said, this it's not a big deal to find something like this on here because you're actually not using someone else's work. You're actually going to just be using it as you know a, a trace. Obviously, to make a social media link for a website, a YouTube channel, uh, Facebook, whatever. I don't think you should have to freehand you know a Twitter bird when you can just go to Google and find a Twitter bird. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag that in here. Bring that in real quick. But now we have the nice little Twitter bird. Now, honestly, if you wanted to, you can. You don't even have to cut out these images. You can bring these images in like this, just a nice flat color, whatever you want. Uh, once again, you know, we brought in that layer. <coughs> excuse me. We got Twitter layer, uh, and we're gonna hit Control T, and we're gonna find the center. Look at that; it's already centered up. So we got that logo centered up in the center of our diamond. So this is going to be the Twitter link for our social media links. And basically, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna cut it out of our object. Um, but first and foremost, this is a thing that I always like to do to make sure it's all even, because I never like to have you know this Twitter link you know uh, for this you know social media button is you know yay big and then all of a sudden you know boom the Facebook you know it's, it's huge uh, so what I like to do is I like to just you know control T once again and I like to make myself a couple new guides here um, to kind of keep myself balanced on my logos now don't when we make the next link uh, I'll show you what I mean we you don't have to get you don't have to match the logo inside of that square. Now, some of these guys can get chaotic, so make sure you take your time and really understand where you're at. So we got our center lines here, and then we got our lines, our guides here to show the outline of the Twitter image. So basically what we're gonna do at this point though, uh, you can remove the guides by the way, control H, you know, for the time being till you hit control H again. And what you're gonna wanna do is you're just gonna go on that Twitter layer uh, this is in case you have a PNG file, by the way. Um, you're going to want to go on your Twitter layer, hit, uh, hold on control, and click on the image to the layer, and that's going to highlight that layer. And then you just want to go to your object one and hit delete. Control D to take away the little uh, marquee line. And then if you take away your Twitter layer, boom. Now, we now have a social media Twitter button uh, for you know the diamond. I'm actually going to make uh, also three objects. I want to do three types of logos. So I want to show you another option with something. So, uh, you know, if, like I said, if that was a PNG file, uh, like that was, which PNG file, transparent background, that's what this logo right here was. It was just the bird. You can, like I said, just select on the layer uh, and hit while holding on control, select and click the, uh, you know, image on the image and it'll highlight that. And basically what you're doing, the concept is you're doing is the Twitter bird is over the object. You're highlighting the Twitter bird and you're just like cookie cutting it out of the object. And then you're just taking away the actual Twitter image, control D by the way to get away your path. And then you can just, you know, delete your, uh, you know, Twitter image. So there we got our Twitter social media link. Now let's bring up uh, another object. I'm going to do Behance for this because Behance uh, for example, it doesn't really, uh, not all the time will you find uh, just straight up Behance logo. You'll have logos like this. Is this going to be big enough? Oh yeah, that's, well, maybe we'll try this one. Uh, it looks like they're pretty much the same size, eh? 
Yeah, we'll bring. Yeah, we'll just bring this one in. So this one, you know, well, what the hell, Biggie? Well, that's a button. That's already a logo and everything. Yes, I know, but we want everything to match. We want just the B E and the little dash here. Now, obviously, you could probably have the font for this and make this, but this is just a, a good comparison of you know ways to keep organized and everything. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually you know we got this layer selected, and if you go over here to the Magic One tool. Uh, since these are solid, if you're going to do it this way, make sure when you're searching up the image, the images are very solid. Like right here, this is all white lines. I know this selection from this is going to be very, very clean. Now you can do the same thing if that Twitter image had, you know, a background, it wasn't PNG transparent. You could have done the same thing with this. Uh, so basically what I'm going to do here is I'm going to find the center once again uh, with this. Uh, Control H. Oh. Control H to bring your guys back up. We have the, you know, my Behance layer selected. I'm coming in here. I'm finding the center. And what I'm actually going to do is, remember these guides I brought up for uh, Twitter? I'm going to kind of just bring that B and E to fill them in a little bit. Like I said, don't don't bring your object. Don't do this. Don't, uh, you know, Control T. You know, we got those guides in there. Don't do this right here. Like, oh, well, he, you know, made those guides. We got to put our object in there. Don't do that. Um, and don't you know do this like oh well we gotta you know completely fill it in you know right yep it's filled in um, you know just bring it to a resp you know hold on shift just bring it out to where it's nice and even 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 and just bring it to a nice respectful center now this this is where it gets confusing for some people when I explain this is you know obviously while we had this you know uh, selected with Control T. Um, you know, since this was a, a different image that came in, obviously the center of the logo might not be this overall center of the object. So you just kind of have to move it around. Like, you know, the red cross is not matching the center. So we just move it around to where it matches, uh, hit the check mark, and you're just going to have your magic wand selected. Uh, click on the B. And now this is the thing that gets for confusing for a lot of people too is, you know, you go to click on the next thing. Well, then it doesn't highlight the B anymore. So you click on the B, you hold on shift, click on the E, and you click on the line, and boom, you basically have what you did with the you know Twitter layer. You have what is needed selected, and you go back to you know your new object, your object two, because this is our Behance button, and you click delete, and then control D to take away the path, and you take away the button. And now we have a Behance and a Twitter. Uh, and uh, actually since uh, I mean doing that I really because I was going to show you guys another one with uh, twitch and uh, show you the you know holding on shift and highlighting multiple things so yeah basically at this point you have you know say you know you have multiple links uh, we're just gonna duplicate these um, you know twice uh, and we're just gonna pretend that you know this one's Facebook and this one's Instagram. Now I want to show you an Instagram too, uh, and kind of give you ideas on this as well. Because some of these logos, when you make them, you're gonna actually have to pen tool them. Now we, for the sake of time, we're not gonna do all that today. Now when you're going to pen tool a logo, don't be afraid to get in there to get the logo out first off, and make sure when you pen tool, you you pen tool very easy. Don't get too detailed. Don't get too you know. Uh, into it because it's going to ruin the link. If you see here in my uh, Instagram link, uh, for example, it's you know you can tell that's the Instagram photo, but it's very simplistic. Uh, you know, just one circle here, one circle here. That doesn't even exist in it. A straight line here. The overall shape of the logo, uh, and then you know this little square, and then the lines. Uh, just to show you guys the comparisons, uh, let me bring this in here. Just give you guys ideas if you are going to pen tool a logo, how to keep them, you know, to separate them. You know, if, you, if this is the only image, like for example, with the in Instagram logo that you can find, uh, how to kind of transist it into making it into a social media icon. Like I said, not enough time to uh, do this all over uh, right here, but you know, I figured showing you guys the images would really help. So like I said, we got plenty of layers here. Let's pretend these are you know Facebook and whatnot, and we're gonna rename these. This is our Twitter, and this is our Behance, B-E. So basically what we're gonna do at this point is we're going to control T, and we're gonna kinda just uh, start lining these up. What I'm just gonna do to make it easy, I'm gonna bring it, you know, all this one all the way over, and I'm gonna start on my next layer, or my next social media link, and I'm just gonna bring it to where it just snaps right next to the, uh, the, tw the you know, first one. And then once again, you know, bring it over, oh, well, 
let's let's not have that third one actually we'll just do three for the sake of argument and sake of time so pretend that the third one is a uh, Facebook and then once again you, you'll feel that if you you know hold on shift and bring it over with the guides you know you'll feel that little snap there and now we have them lined up we're gonna select all three of those layers which is our Twitter Behance and Facebook control T and then we're gonna bring it to the center and boom now we have a nice little triangle you know, control H to get rid of the lines. And then at this point, it's just uh, not triangle, by the way, uh, diamond. At this point, it's, you know, creating the layers. You know, you want, obviously, I got these layer styles pre selected, but as you see, they work, you know, with anything at this point. You know, very clean, uh, very sick uh, layers. Um, but yeah, very simplistic tutorial. Uh, really helps out too with the page. Like I said, I think social media links say a lot in pages. They need to be done very well, very professional, because if they aren't, you're not going to really advertise people to go into those other things. If you were to see this in your page over just seeing uh, this, this, and um, you know these, uh, it's gonna. I, I personally think it's gonna draw on a crowd having this match your layout rather than you know just like oh well I can tell you got that off Google that off Google you know what I mean like I said it's not bad to get these off of Google uh, to you know just use the uh, shape for the you know logo but uh, you know this this is a much more professional approach like I said likes comments support uh, suggestions things that I maybe need to do to make it personally faster for me if you have any shortcut ideas if you guys have any other tutorial ideas you'd like to see let me know I'm gonna do plenty of tutorials this simplistic yes I know it took us 26 minutes to explain how to do some uh, social media links but I think you know 26 minutes this is really in your head of how to do social media links now uh, from now on you know how to make social media links for yourself uh, in very unique ways. So this was another tutorial by 80 designs. I uh, hope to see you guys next time. Peace